I am Professor L.B. Gaikwad, who has come before you with a new video again. Before going to the video, I will request you to see all the notes which I have put in the description box. The second thing which I want to bring to your notice is that my channel uploads the videos on English literature, on English politics and phonology, on English spoke on English spoken, then semantic and syntactics, morphology, and then my own literature in Marathi, Hindi, and English. I will request you to like, watch, subscribe, and share my channel. Now, I have taken the topic for you, which is the present perfect tense, active and passive voices. In this topic, I will teach you about the present perfect tense and the use of the active and passive voice in the present perfect tense. At first, I will tell you how is the present perfect tense used. The present perfect tense is used when the action is completed, means when the action has been done by the particular subject in the present tense, then we can use the present perfect tense. Now we will go to see the active voice positive, means now we are discussing the positive active voice. The sentence is, Shelley has written a poem in the night. Remember, this sentence is in the present perfect tense. Shelley has written a poem in the night. In this sentence, Shelley is the subject, has written is the verb. A poem is the object and in the night is the complement or extra words. Here I will tell you that the sentence has told here the action which has been completed. Means Shelley has written a poem in the night means the means the particular Shelley has completed the action of writing the poem in the night. So the active wise positive is Shelley has written a poem in the night. So Shelley is the subject, has written is the verb, a poem is the object and in the night is the um, complement or I will say these are the extra words. Now I will talk about the passive voice positive. A poem has been written in the night by Shelley. Here a poem is the object, has been written is the verb because it is the passive voice. That's why has and been and written has been taken means has plus been and written uh, have been taken here because it is the perfect tense and that's why been has been uh, taken there. In the night is the, uh, I will say complement or the extra words and by Shelley is the subjective case means by plus Shelley because Shelley is the proper noun and that's why it will be the Shelley only. Now I am discussing about the active highs negative. See, the same sentence has been taken by me, means I have taken the same sentence uh, because you should understand very easily. So the active voice negative is, Shelley has not written a poem in the night, means here Shelley is the subject, has not written is the verb, means this verb has been given here in the negative sense and so it has become has not written. A poem is the object and in the night is the complement or extra words. Now I will discuss about the passive voice negative and that passive voice will be a poem has not been written in the night by Shelley. So here I will tell you a poem is the object has not been written is the verb and that verb is given in the negative sense. 
in the night is the complement or extra words and by shilling is the subjective case means there is the by and there is the shilling and that's why it has become by shilling so here i have completed the topic then now i will discuss the conclusion part uh, to discuss this conclusion part i will tell you that here when we uh, speak about the present perfect tense we take the verb has plus uh, pp has plus pp means has plus written has plus uh, read has plus given like this so it is called has plus pp then we take have plus pp means have written have gone have discussed have taken like this we can take the verb means has have are the helping verbs and pp is the third form that is the past participle of the particular verb then we can use the long form also and the short form also i will tell you has not is the long form and hasn't is the short form have not is the long form and haven't is the short form i will discuss about the subjective case and that subjective case uh, is made by the use of by plus subject means i will discuss as follows there are the subjects like i we you they he she it and there are the cases so i will discuss when there is the subject i it will be by me when the subject will be we it will be by us when the subject will be you it will be by you when the subject will be they it will be by them when the subject will be he it will be by him when the subject will be she it will be by her and when the subject will be it it will be by it and when the subjects are other than these subjects for example the policeman it will be by the policeman the dogs it will be by the dogs the novels it will be by the novels so here today i have finished the topic present perfect tense and its actual passive voices again i will come in front of you with a new video till then thank you thank you very much